let us cover some important points regarding isoniazid drug used for treatment of tuberculosis this is for your information isoniazid in short is also termed as inh full form of which is isonicotinic acid hydroxide isoniazid is primarily tuberculosidal it means it kills bacteria fast multiplying organisms are rapidly killed but bacteria which are in dormant or quiescent stage are only inhibited by this isoniazid isoniazid acts on extracellular as well as on intracellular tb bacilli which are present within the macrophages and it is equally active in acidic and alkali medium main mechanism of action is inhibition of synthesis of mycolic acid which are unique fatty acid components of mycobacterial cell wall and this is how cell wall of mycobacterium looks like this cell wall of mycobacterium is mainly made up of mycolic acid which is found only in mycobacterium therefore inh has action against this bacteria only but not against other bacteria now we will see the structure of isoniazid and this is the structure iupac name of inh is pyridine 4 carbohydroxide chemical formula is c6h7n3o and this is the molecular mass of isoniazid let us understand the mechanism of action of isoniazid how isoniazid works consider a mycobacterium a patient has taken isoniazid this isoniazid enters into the mycobacterium and an enzyme called catalase peroxidase it acts on isoniazid and there is formation of a reactive metabolite of isoniazid from this reactive metabolite an adduct is formed by the action of nad present within the mycobacterium this adduct inhibits inha and class a which help in the synthesis of mycolic acid as these two are inhibited therefore there is no mycolic acid synthesis another nadp present within the mycobacterium it acts on this reactive metabolite and there is formation of another adduct which further inhibits dihydrofolate reductase enzyme and dna synthesis also inhibited therefore these are the two mechanism by which inha act therefore the targets of isoniazid are inha and cas a which are two gene products which help in the synthesis of mycolic acid so this is overall mechanism of action of isoniazid the resistance which occurs against isoniazid is due to mutation of these two gene only which help in the synthesis of mycolic acid now we will see the pharmacokinetics or adme of isoniazid isoniazid has penetration in all body tissues cavities placenta meninges it is mainly metabolized by process of n acetylation and in this case phenomena of polymorphism is seen where two types of patients are there slow acetylators and fast acetylators main metabolite of isoniazid is acetyl hydrazine this isoniazid acts as enzyme inhibitors and it inhibits the metabolism of other drugs which are given with it like warfarin phenytoin diazepam and theophylline main side effects of isoniazid can be easily remembered from its name itself i increased iron accumulation resulting in sideroblastic anemia n neuritis or peripheral neuritis and this problem can be overcome by giving vitamin b6 prophylactically h h stands for hepatotoxicity and this problem is more common in elder people and in alcoholics so these are the main side effects of isoniazid now we will see the drug interaction of isoniazid isoniazid if given with aluminum hydroxide aluminum hydroxide inhibits the absorption of isoniazid isoniazid acts as enzyme inhibitor therefore there is decreased metabolism of phenytoin carbamazepine diazepam theophylline and warfarin if isoniazid is given with rifampin rifampin acts as enzyme inducer and its concurrent use counteracts the inhibitory effect of inh 
इट मीन्स आई एन एच एंड रिफॉर्मपिन दे एक्ट अगेंस्ट ईच अदर इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेटाबोलिज्म वेन आई एन एच इज गिवन विद पैरामिनोसेलेसिलिक एसिड उटिंग सिमिलर अपडेट बी सेफ जय हिंद जय भारत